Welcome to another edition of Yes, We're Here. This time it is NYCFC Youth is the subject, the topic we all want to discuss. And we have got two fine gentlemen joining us today. Joe Scali, James Sands, thank you so much for joining us. First and foremost, how are you guys doing? Uh, I'm doing well, you know, uh, kind of continuing on the stuff we've been doing for, for weeks now. But I think it's good seeing a couple of the other MLS teams back. So there's a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel here. Joe, you good? Yeah, just like James said, you know, in the beginning, it was, you know, it was fun being home with the family. But now as the time can, continues to get greater, it's getting boring and seeing all the teams getting back. It's now it's, you know, starting to get normal again. Well, it is a little frustrating, but you have been doing some online classes with the team. James, how have the classes been going for you guys? Uh, I think they've been good. We've definitely uh, got a little bit of a routine going. Um, I think a lot of the guys like the kickboxing class, you know, it just gets you moving and it's, uh, you know, something different than what we're usually doing. Um, and then we've been doing yoga and strength training as well. So, you know, I think it's fun for everyone just to do, you know, a little bit of different things every day and, you know, not doing repetitive uh, workouts every day. How about you, Joe? Yeah, same thing. I mean, we've done like some social events where we all like to joke around and like create like banter and fun stuff. So. I can't say any of the questions because I don't know if we could be on here, but definitely been doing some fun stuff and it's good to see all the guys on the classes. Well, I can guarantee that almost all the players will watch this. So be careful with your next answer. Joe, I'm coming to you on this one. You mentioned the banter and the fun that you guys are having with the online classes. Who's the most disruptive player during the classes? The one who's always joking around. Yeah, I mean, like you said, I don't know what to say because I'm a young guy, but I'm going to have to go with Maxime. He's always just... Say we'll have to be on mute, he'll unmute himself and just start laughing at someone who's talking or make a joke. So I'm definitely going to have to go with him. James, you got the same answer? Uh, I'm going to go with a different one. I do agree with uh, Maxime. It's a good shout, but I'm going to say Eber. You know, he is never happy with whatever workout we're doing. And he's always <laughs> giving his feedback. Happy Brazilian. So I would say him. You know why? Because he's an absolute savage, is Eber. He's a savage, that guy. I know he loved that call. And you guys have a lot of fun together. You're both pretty close on and off the field. James, why do you think that is, that you guys connect so well? Um, you know, I just think we have kind of come up through similar sort of situations. You know, we have the same sort of path through NYCFC. Um, and especially being the first two homegrowns, you know, we were much closer in age than you know, maybe I am to some of the older guys. So, you know, like I said before, it was just pretty easy to relate to Joe. And I, you know, I think that's why, why I've been, been close these past couple of years. Joe, I know you've got some lovely words to share with James. Please, the floor is over. I would love to hear it. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, yeah, just like James said, I mean, the guys in the locker room could be talking about their kids and what they're doing when they go home. And like, I could talk to James and be like, like, I have this math thing I have to do. Like, do you know anything about this? And like, maybe he could help me on something. So just having James close in age to me and who did it before me. So I could basically look up and see what he did and try and mimic it. It was, it's good to have James close. That was, that was lovely, Joe. Yeah, you're welcome. James. Nice words. Nice words. Who was the smartest one in school then between the both of you? Oh, James. Yeah, I think that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's <okay. laughs> uh, Joe, I've spoken to pretty much all the players. I mean, especially the ones that are obviously speaking fluent English. Um, and everyone seems to point the finger at you when I ask the question, who's the funniest player on the team? Who's the one who's joking around? Who's the one that's always got a smile? All of the guys, experience, the young guys, they all point the finger at you. Why is that then? Why are you such the jokester? <laughs> I mean, I just like to have fun at practice. You know, I don't think of it as work. I'm just going out there trying to have fun. So even if we're on the field, we'll always do like a jog around the field and I'll just take a ball and just try and rip it as far as I can just to get the training just happy and fun spirited. So, I mean, I guess that in the locker room, I'll always just be like walking around, like trying to play my own music, like Hannah Montana. And then they'll all just like start laughing and think it's like dumb or something. So I guess that's going to have to be why. Never lose that. I'm going to tell you right now, that is so vitally important to be yourself in the locker room, to always have fun. It should, be, it should be pleasure. It should be something that you enjoy doing every single day. So make sure you keep that with you, even when you go over with the Germans, because they will be waiting for you. Uh, James, what impresses you most about uh, Joe's play? I mean, 
you know, we want to see a lot more of him in the first team, but what really caught your attention when you first saw him as a youth player, but even up to now he's in the pros? Yeah, I would say just kind of, you know, how well built he is for, for his position. And I think it's why he'll do so well in Germany. Um, you know, he just is a modern outside back, you know, he can get up and down, um, very powerful. He can cross the ball well. Um, you know, all the things you look for in a, in a right back, I think he does well. I guess I've got to ask the same question to you, Joe, about James, because he's done a terrific job breaking into the first team, solidifying a place in the starting 11. I mean, now he is really considered to be a versatile player, but every position he plays, he does a great job. So what's really caught your attention about the way James plays? Yeah, James, I mean, we all know James is shredded. James always just works out. So what caught my eye about James will probably have to be like just the way he plays the six role. I mean, he could spray the ball with his right left perfectly to a guy and also just hold it right in front of the back four very well and keep goals out. So that definitely stood out about James to me. I love that. Now, both of you are obviously young guys coming through into the first team and you need to rely on experience. James, who would be the player that you would go to in the first team ranks if you've got a question to ask or you need some advice or you want to do extra training? Like, who do you, who do you lean on with the, the experienced boys? Um, I would probably say, I'd say two. I would say Maxime for sure. Um, and then Alex Ring is the other. I think the combination of those two, especially for me, just because one's a center back and one's a six is helpful. And they have, between them, they have so much experience that, you know, any question I can think of, they've got an answer for it. So definitely those two. How about you, Joe? Yeah, I would go with Anton, of course, because he just plays outside back and he's one of the best in the league at it. So I go to him a lot. And whether it's a question about Germany, I would talk to Ring just because he played at Gladbach and he knows all about it. So I would have to go with those two guys. I love that. It's a great answer. And obviously, leaning on the experience is so vital as you're coming into the first team. Always ask questions and don't be frightened to knock on the head coach's door as well. Uh, Joe, you might want to be a bit careful when you do that in Germany, though. They frown upon that. <laughs> Speaking of bosses, um, we got a new man in charge. I mean, it's been a difficult, what do I say, introduction to Major League Soccer for, for Ronnie Dialis so far, but he still managed to have an impact on you players. You all seem to really enjoy training with him and for the few games that we've had, you've enjoyed playing with him. Uh, James, what, what really has impressed you so far about Ronnie? Uh, I think probably the most impressive thing is just how well he connects with, with people. You know, he's a very, very good man manager. Um, and he's very good at, you know, balancing the different, different egos on our team. And I think during this quarantine is just a good example. You know, he was able to get the whole team doing workouts or, you know, doing social events, just keeping people together. And, you know, I think it will help us when, whenever we get back on the field. What about you, Joe? I mean, young guy coming through, you still want to play. You want to get your shot in MLS and really solidify a place in Major League Soccer before you head over to Germany. Uh, what has been the instruction from Ronnie for you? Yeah, just the way he's able to coach with all the players and really connect with us. I mean, he has great stories about when he was a younger player that he connects with us so that we could all joke about. And he honestly, just the team spirit, he connects all of us together, whether it's through just the way he'll yell at us and we'll all be like, like scared and ready to fight for him. And just right before we got on the field, his pep talks and the way he gets us all motivated to get out there and basically win for the city. Hey, Joe, it's not easy breaking into to this first team. And it's not easy breaking into Major League Soccer, but especially NYCFC, there's competition for places in every single position. And for a young kid coming through, it can be a little challenging. What kind of final impression do you want to leave in Major League Soccer before you go? Because you're playing for a great club in a big media market. There's a lot of attention on Major League Soccer now when it comes back and obviously how complicated it could be. But for you personally, what is that impression you want to leave on the fans and the media before you head over to the Bundesliga? Yeah, right before I want to leave, of course, for the team, I want, I want to help as much as I can to bring the cup, the first cup to New York. That is my the biggest thing I want to do. And just the little things, whether it's getting 20 games underneath my belt for personal things before I go, just to get stronger, quicker play and everything. But my main thing is for the team and winning the trophy for the team and the city. Do you know any German at all? Nein. Nein, noch nicht. Noch nicht ein bisschen Deutsch. Wir können auch ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen zusammen. 
get ready for it. And I won't give you a piece of advice. You've got to try and learn it as quickly as you possibly can. I'll tell you a little story. When I first went over to Hamburg, the coach spoke no English, nothing at all. And we were winning. So he was fine. He was happy for me to train and enjoy myself. But then uh, once we started losing games and he started yelling me at German and I'm gone, uh, you know, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> he took me out of practice and sent me to school four hours every day for one month. And then after one month, I was fluent in German. Yeah, that's great. So be ready I, for it. Yeah, I've been trying to learn through like a Bible app, but it, it's hard, you know, not speaking every day. I'll try and talk to my brother or sister about it and they'll have no clue what to do. Yeah, well, you're going, you're going to a fantastic club as well that looks after the players very well and a very international club. Um, James, I got to come to you. This is the last question. You know, who should we as fans of New York City Football Club watch from our youth academy that we might not know about right now that's coming up through the ranks that has really impressed you that we should all keep an eye out for? Um, that's a tough one. I, I would say right now, Andreas Jason probably. I know fans got a little taste of that in uh, in preseason, but um, and I know he's he's going to Yale now. But maybe for the future, he's just someone that's you know a very exciting player, good one v one, and you know he does very well in whatever situation he's put in. So I would say him. Joe, who you got? Give me a name. I'm gonna have to go with Andres too. He's also he's basically my and James like close friend during preseason. He was with us the whole time, so definitely Andres. He was at the U17 World Cup and started, I think, almost every game that we had. So he's definitely one that impresses and can do everything. So I'm going to have to go with Andres. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. It's really important for us to get to know you guys. And obviously, it's been a very difficult period for a lot of our viewers and fans who are watching on, and they appreciate your feedback. They appreciate the positivity. And to speak to some starlets coming through our youth ranks, which both of you are, it means a great deal to us. Thank you so much. Good luck. Stay safe and God bless. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.